The Chinese Communist Party has been spending lots of money in Africa. What are they hoping to gain? And how should the West respond? I think China's goals have shifted somewhat over the decades that they've been involved in Africa. So almost immediately upon the formation of modern China in, in 1949, um, they began to reach out to the continent. Initially, their goals were, uh, under, under Mao, were to establish um, themselves as the leaders of the global revolutionary uh, movement, the, the communist uh, global revolutionary movement. And they, they saw Mao, saw uh, China, or excuse me, Africa as a fertile area for that type of activity. China was also concerned about um, what they termed as hegemon, so that would be the Soviets and the Americans, and so a fair amount of what they did on the continent was trying to um, bedevil whatever uh, the Soviets and the Americans were up to on the continent. Uh, but I, as I say, I think that's shifted over the years, so uh, the Chinese became more pragmatic over the years. Uh, they began to focus more on economics, and uh, they still focus heavily on on the economic advantages that they can gain from their interactions with the continent. So uh, previously, they used to source a fair amount of oil from Africa. That share of oil uh, that they source has been falling over the uh, the last several years as they source more oil from the Middle East. So I think on the natural resources front, their focus has shifted more to certain critical minerals, uh, particularly cobalt uh, or others like lithium, uh, even uh, more more common ones, um, but uh, like copper that are still essential to industry and especially to high tech uh, industries. So uh, the wave of the future is electric vehicles, for instance. Uh, electric vehicles are very minerals intensive. They require a lot of, of minerals like cobalt, like lithium. And uh, Chinese companies now dominate the supply chain for cobalt, for instance. And most of the world's cobalt is sourced from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. About 60% of, of the world's cobalt comes from there. So um, I think that has become more of the Chinese focus as far as natural resources are concerned. Now, I've argued uh, previously uh, in, in papers and such that the, the ultimate uh, prize that, that China seeks in Africa is support for China's diplomatic goals. The, as China has become more assertive on the global stage, that sort of support for it at places like the United Nations has become much more important. And that means Africa has become more important to China. Africa has emerged as a major source of support uh, for Chinese policies in places like Xinjiang, in Hong Kong, on the Taiwan question. Uh, African countries vote at a high, very high rate with China, uh, or their votes coincide, I should say, at a very high rate with China uh, at the UN General Assembly, on the Security Council, at the Human Rights Council, et cetera, et cetera. This is all very valuable to, to China. Um, as I say, it, it becomes more aggressive in pushing its, its uh, foreign policy goals and achieving its foreign policy goals, which it, which it largely is trying to do through multinational forums like the United Nations. So I, I think that's a major part of, of what China is seeking now in Africa. Uh, economics still play a part. It has major companies from politically important sectors like construction, for instance, that make a lot of money in Africa. Um, there's now a quite large Chinese diaspora there. So part of Beijing's concern is to protect that diaspora. They have to uh, demonstrate to the Chinese people that they are um, able to take care of, of uh, its citizens, both at home, of course, but also overseas in, in places like Africa. So that's also a concern. Uh, and then there's I think there's a, a number of other things that, that China's after. But I would sort of um, focus on those as, you know, the economics, the diplomatic support, the certain key minerals as the major reasons that, that China is in Africa. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow the IATP on Twitter at the underscore IATP.
Also, hit the like and subscribe button below and check out our website at www.theiatp.org.